So I built it for like, I don't know, two grand. But it would have been about a $4,500 computer if I bought it in the store. Cool. I have like 800 gigabytes of RAM, DDR5, uh, an Octi Core Pentium processor. Octi means eight. It's got like six hard drives in it, and they're all huge, like, like huge, like as big as my face huge. I bought the most expensive motherboard, so, you know, that's pretty good. We're talking military grade, baby. It's even got its own sound card. So, you know, none of that standard stuff. You better believe I got the gold plated cables. A graphics card? Try two Titan X's put together. It's called Daisy Chain. That's really nifty. Yeah, man. I mean, I fired it up and turned on Skyrim, and you better believe it auto set everything ultra like, like I didn't even think. That's a pretty old game now. The new Wolfenstein, too. I don't know, 4K monitors. Only one can play. That had a good story. Who cares about story? I'm talking about graphics, hardware, things you can compare to other people to find them lacking. Oh. What do you want? PlayStation. What? I don't go in for the whole PC Master Race thing. I'm like, uh, what do you call it? Filthy casual. That, that doesn't make sense. What, you don't care about FPS? Not really. I mean, to be honest, most of the games I play are on my phone. But, I mean, what? Look at you. you, you're a nerd, a geek. You're obviously a gamer. How can you be a gamer and not care? Because I just like to have fun. Who cares how I have it? I do, I care. You can't just have fun. We're nerds because of bad childhoods, because we were ignored in high school. We weren't cool enough to channel our emotional angst externally, so we focused inward. And now, nerds are cool. We have to do something with that. We have to build awesome computers that don't have any purpose other than to play epic games with so that we can sufficiently impress each other. We suffered for this, man. We deserve it. How can you not indulge? How can you play the same games a pop belly 30 something with three kids who was popular in high school and peaked way too early plays now? I don't know. <laughs> Look at this little sprite. Is it cute? <laughs> I will guy. I'm sorry about the fact that we're trapped in an elevator because I need all the ambient oxygen in the room to hate you. Okay. Let me have a turn. No, this is my phone. Get your own apps. See, this is why mobile games are perfect. When you're trapped in an elevator? Or when you're waiting in line in a DMV. Or when you're waiting for your food. All sorts of reasons. I don't have any games on my phone. So, get some. Damn. Elevator, no bars. I have bars. What provider do you have? T-Mobile. Oh. Hey, can you call for help? The first thing I texted when the elevator stopped. Trust me, Lars, my friend, I am a go-getter. See, my mom and I, we practice all sorts of emergency scenarios. She totally knows we're trapped in here. Oh, good. You think anybody will come? I don't know. I think it's the apocalypse. Right. But hey, look. I have like 80% battery life left, so we should be fine for a while. What kind of weapons would you use during the apocalypse? Seems a little late to engage in hypotheticals, don't you think? You would think my answer would be a shotgun. But thanks to the World War II reenactment guild I'm in, I've gotten great at pretending to use a bayonet, which is the perfect weapon for a pacifist. Plus, no bullets. Right? I mean, you gotta think about these things. You know, I've always wanted to build a bunker. You know, like, under the house. Mm -hmm. Not the basement. A bit late. Yeah, I guess. So, what do we do now? I don't know. Are you scared? A little. But at least I'm not alone.
Can I have a turn a little bit? Of course you can, buddy. See, this is why mobile games are great. Can't have your PC in an elevator during a zombie outbreak. I guess you're right, Neville. I guess you're right. Food? No. Mm. Ooh. Mom says she can't make it. <laughs> 